Have you ever wondered what happens during the negotiations of a crucial defense policy bill in Congress? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of policymaking. Right now, Congress is embarking on negotiations for a compromise defense policy bill, known as the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2024. And boy, it's not a walk in the park. On one side, we have House Republicans, particularly those from the right-wing Freedom Caucus, adding their own flavor to the bill with partisan provisions. On the other side, the Senate version comes with its own amendments, but, here's the twist, they enjoy bipartisan support. The wheels of negotiation are turning, with each side presenting their version of the bill, each with its own unique characteristics. But this isn't a tug of war where the strongest side wins, it's a delicate dance of give and take, where the aim is to find common ground. These negotiations are not just about coming to a consensus but about shaping the defense policy for the next fiscal year. So, what are the key differences that need to be resolved in these negotiations? Let's dive right in. First off, we have the Freedom Caucus Amendments, a set of partisan provisions added by House Republicans that have stirred up some controversy. Then there's the establishment of an independent inspector general for Ukraine aid, a move aimed at ensuring transparency and accountability. Next, we have provisions related to the EUKIS Submarine Sharing Pact, a relatively new agreement that has been in the headlines quite a bit. There's also a requirement for Senate approval if the U.S. decides to withdraw from NATO, a safeguard to ensure the stability of this long-standing alliance. The Buy America Amendment for Navy ships is another key point of contention. This proposal aims to bolster domestic manufacturing but has been met with mixed reactions. Additionally, there's the revival of the Pentagon's chief management officer position, a role that was previously abolished. Then we have the abolition of the Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation Office, a move that could significantly alter the way defense projects are evaluated and funded. And lastly, we have the final location for the Space Command Headquarters, a decision that could have a major impact on the future of space defense. These differences are significant, and their resolution will have a profound impact on the future of defense policy. The outcome of these negotiations is of utmost importance, but have you ever thought about your role in it? You might be thinking, I'm not a policymaker or a defense expert, how can I influence the outcome? Well, let me tell you, your role is more significant than you might think. Your understanding and engagement in these issues can shape the discourse around them. When you discuss these topics in your communities, you're spreading awareness. When you question the decisions made, you're holding those in power accountable. When you vote, you're showing what's important to you. All of these actions can influence the direction of policies. It's crucial to stay informed about these negotiations and the potential impacts they could have. The more informed you are, the better equipped you'll be to make decisions that align with your values and interests. And remember, engagement is not just about consuming information, it's also about participating in the conversation. So don't shy away from expressing your views, whether that's in a town hall meeting, on social media, or right here in the comments section. Remember, your understanding and engagement matter. So, keep the conversation going. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, hit like if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into policy matters. Stay informed, stay engaged.